Jaystown O'Hare. Today we're talking peanut worms washing in. Yeah, we had some cold weather and uh, unfortunately a lot of these worms that live down in the sediment just got too cold and ended up washing up. Um, but they do have an interesting story with them, so I thought maybe I would be able to tell you about them. So these are a marine, it's unsegmented worm. They can live in the sand or they can live in, down in the mud and uh, shallow or really deep oceans. They live all over the world. There's over 160 species and not a lot is known about these worms. Now I got a handful of them here. Uh, you know, normally you're gonna find one or two if you find any at all. So to be able to find this many really tells you that, uh, you know, it was some cold weather. Now they're named peanut worm because whenever you mess with them and they're, they're alive, they shrink up and they kind of have a look of <clears throat> you know a peanut and so kind of the base of it kind of big and then same with where the mouth would be and so i'll take one of these out and be able to show you here uh, the difference between the mouth the back end of it so the back end is kind of this bulb looking uh, side of it here and then the mouth of it would be at this end and it's uh, introvert so what happens is like if it was a lot if it was you know alive and i'm not i don't think this one's alive because it's not moving around but if i would come up and touch it it would introvert down inside of there and then it can come out as well so when it's feeding so this you know uh, many times what you'll find is like this uh, part will be down in the mud or in the sand uh, because there is no protection, like there is no shell or anything with them. So if a sea turtle or any kind of animal comes along, real easy to eat. So th they want to protect themselves by being down in the sediment. And so this one, would, this part would be down in the sediment and then they could come out, kind of move the, the introverted part of their mouth around. And so some of them have tentacles at the end, some of them have hooks at the end. Uh, where their mouth is for feeding. Many of these, and I don't know the specific uh, species of this one, but um, they're simple body. So many of these, you know, they can uh, take sand in and they take the uh, nutrients and stuff out of that. Some of them that have tentacles, maybe can feed on particles um, that way with their tentacles. Um, they don't have a circulatory system or a respiratory system. All that's taken care of with the fluids that are in their body that, that do those processes for them. Now, uh, one of the interesting things they have here is, and I'm not going to be able to find it, but um, you know, whenever you look at the body, so you have the back end, you have the mouth, and uh, normally you would think, okay, the anus would be down here, and that's how they would excrete. Uh, the material that they don't use but actually it's more about in the middle of their body and that's because whenever they're down in their hole you know maybe their anus can be up out and excrete so it's not going down in their hole now one thing I know y'all are asking about y'all are like hey uh, those look delicious can we eat them the answer is yes you can eat these and uh, there are a lot of places, uh, China, Vietnam, they cook these things. And so they cut them open, they take out the insides, and then you're left with this fleshy material. And there's a couple of ways that they eat it. Um, you can um, saute it and cook it, you know, boil it, uh, cook it with vegetables. Uh, other ways that they do it is they dry it out and then they crush it up and then they put it on some of their other foods to give it the seafood flavor. And uh, maybe I'll throw some pictures up there for you so you'll be able to check it out. But um, so that's it. We do have some big old worms around here. Um, pretty cool to be able to see these. Uh, I guess uh, that's it for this episode of Beach Coming. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.